Hey there, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who have been watching some of my vlogs, this is actually quite a bit after the most recent vlog that I posted. It is currently Sunday, November 1st, and I am actually getting ready to go to church. I'm supposed to help lead worship this morning. My kids are asleep, my husband's asleep. So I thought this might be a good time to start the vlog. So let's jump on in. <music> If you're new here, my name is Katie and I do videos about lifestyle and motherhood and adoption. And so I hope that you stick around. Always don't forget to subscribe if you are someone who's been watching my channel and enjoy it but you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button. If you are not familiar, we are in the process of adopting two kids. They're currently a foster placement. We've been just adjusting a lot and <laughs> I haven't really felt like recording anything lately because personally I've just been having a rough time. Just been feeling really anxious, really stressed, which kind of goes along with the territory, but I just feel like it's been heightened lately. So I just haven't really felt like picking up the camera. So this is the first time in a long time I've really felt like doing this. So yesterday was Halloween. It was so nice that Halloween fell on a Saturday. We went with our friends from church. Um, we went trick-or-treating in their neighborhood, which is a little nicer than our neighborhood, to be honest. <laughs> and we just had a really great time um, just hanging out with them, and we had dinner with them, and it was just really great to get together. The kids really enjoyed trick-or-treating. Everyone was doing a really good job, like social distancing, passing out candy and stuff, so it was really fun. And it was really cute because our son, this is the first time I guess he'd ever gone trick-or-treating, even though he's six. I guess in the past, his like foster mom didn't like take them, her granddaughter did, because they did quite an older foster mom. And I could just see him being like, I just wanna stay home with grandma, you know? So he went and it was so cute when we were at our friend's house afterwards, he goes, I think this is the best day of my life. <laughs> and it was just really cute. So we all really enjoyed it. Okay, I'm in the car now, but I totally forgot to say that today is, I'm really excited about it because my friend Sarah and I are actually getting the chance to go to Vintage Market Days. And I believe, I think it was in the spring or the summer that my husband and I went to a Vintage Market Days. And that one was really fun. It was like the summer version of it. But last year, Sarah and I went to the winter version of it. And the winter version is my favorite because it's like all Christmassy. And so, you know, today's November 1st. It's kind of like the perfect time to be looking for Christmas decorations so I'm super excited they have all these like handmade goods and everything like that and we're gonna get to go by ourselves and yeah obviously we'll wear masks be safe and stuff but I am so looking forward to that so I'll try to show some clips of that later now I gotta get to church because I'm running late so it is now one o'clock and I definitely thought at this point that I would already be a vintage market days but my friend texted me and said that her keys got locked in her car so She's waiting on AAA to come open it up, but I think we're still gonna be able to go around two, so I'm gonna get ready for that in a second. First, <laughs> I'm gonna finish my leftovers I have here from Cheesecake Factory. Um, Nick and I were able to go on a date Friday, which was so needed, because this last week was really, really rough. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned earlier, but the kids were in a blended learning model, which basically means for two weeks, they were home three weekdays and only at school too. And my husband is a stay-at-home dad, and so he was with them. And last week I took a few sick days because I wasn't feeling well, um, and I was able to help him a little bit, but it was rough for both of us. <laughs> I wasn't feeling well, and he was, you know, helping with homework, and so was I, and um, yeah, it was pretty rough. So it was really nice on Friday. Our friends gave us a little break, and they watched the kids for us, and the kids had a great time. So we went to Cheesecake Factory, and I'm gonna keep enjoying my dessert from there. Okay, and I'll be the first to admit that this does not look appetizing right now, probably, on camera. But I get the tower truffle cake there. It's so huge. <laughs> I'm not really a cheesecake person. But this can easily last me like three or four dessert times. So, it's pretty yummy. And would my Sunday be complete if I was not watching, as usual, a Blair Lamb vlog? My favorite YouTuber. I'll link her channel below. I always do, I feel like. Um, but I just really like her content, and you probably will too. I'm at my friend's house now, and she should be here soon. Um, I'm actually picking her up here, because she she didn't lock her keys in her car here. So um, I'm waiting for her to get here, and then we're going to go, and we'll have a couple hours to walk around. So I'm really excited. 
I've really been struggling lately with the idea of the fact that I now am like the mom of a 10 year old and I'm not even 30 years old and <laughs> I don't know it's just made me feel like I've aged like I feel like my life has just changed so much like even more so than you know it, it changed a lot when I had a toddler too the first time I went from having no kids to but I don't know I just feel older now <laughs> and not in a good way not in like a a wisdom way I feel like I have none of the wisdom and all of the stress and the lifestyle of a 40 year old person so it's nice when I can get these little times to just kind of like get away with a friend and just kind of feel like that normalcy so really looking forward to this deck the halls with boughs of holly This is the star that the girls I'm with just bought. We ran into a friend and they both are buying this. I love that. I'm like such a sucker for all of the little like, you know, <laughs> like the little musical Christmas things that light up. You guys are going to be on my vlog. This is great. <laughs> I think my soul might, might be carved. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty accurate. I don't even think Nick would be offended. <laughs> hates this quote. <laughs> yes, I do. 100%. It's the worst. <laughs> show what we got okay what did you get I got two candles um, one that's called spice cake it smells like spice cake the other is called bittersweet which I feel is a misleading name because really it smells like cinnamon it smells really good yeah I just smell it, it has sweet. a Christmas smell a Christmas smell yeah. yeah so I don't think that's bittersweet I think that's oh. just awesome I wonder so. where they got that bittersweet mm -hmm. from I got this cute little sign, laser cut. Um, it says, very merry. I think it's cute. And then I also bought with it this little stand. How much was that? It's five dollars. Okay. But it like fits together like this. The lady was real proud of it. She was like, I made these. <laughs> and I was like, cool, yeah. <laughs> Helpful. So a little stand goes on it. I just think so the cute. colors are cute. I know, like it's got like a modern something about like the line with the yeah. That's what I modern think. look. Thank you. I like what it. What about you? What did you get? Well, I got a sign from the same shop. It's right here, and actually, I bought a sign from them last year too. This is yeah, the same one that she got. Mm -hmm. It says Happy Holidays. It was actually pretty affordable. The one I bought last year was a lot more expensive because it was bigger, bigger, but it's super. I don't know, it's just like super high quality. Mm -hmm. It's like this laser cut look, and I really like it. And then I got. Like what? Four candles? <laughs> she got a lot of candles. I got like, and they float. Yes, I got floating candles. I have one of these at home too. It smells like muffins. Oh, it smells so good. I don't even remember what the smells are, but they're they're just delicious smelling. So, yeah, mm -hmm. we had fun. We did. <laughs> good morning and happy Monday. I say happy Monday, but her Monday is really happy. I mean, let's be honest. Um, no, actually. Yesterday was super fun. I'm so glad that I got to go do the vintage market days with Sarah. And uh, while we were there, we actually ran into a lot of people we knew. So it was really fun. First, we walked in the door. We ran into two girls from our house church. And uh, they're like two of our good friends. And so one of them had to go home. But the other one ended up walking around with us. So it was really fun. And I'm really 
impressed that I convinced Sarah to be in the vlog. Like, I did not think that was going to happen, but that was my best friend Sarah that you saw in the last clip there. Um, and so we had a lot of fun walking around. And I went to her house a little bit afterwards because um, our friend Jenny, who she lives with, has a massage chair. And this is like a souped up massage chair. It's really, really nice. That was really fun. And it really put me in a good mood and helps me just feel a little more relaxed for the week. So, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I look really put together this morning and I had absolutely no clue what I was gonna wear last night when I was trying to find something. But I have on the shirt that I literally got at Family Dollar. Yeah, no shame. Because they were matching ones. I got one for my daughter in her size and one in my size. So this is this little ruffled sleeve. And then I got, um, I have this cardigan from Old Navy. And then I was like, throw on this little scarf. And my hair somehow like looked really good. So I just put a couple little curls in the front. And man, if I don't look more put together than I ever do. Not to mention that Nick just went to get hot chocolate for me to take to work with me. So that's really exciting. I'm rejoicing because it's not pitch black outside when I'm leaving because daylight savings time ended. So it's kind of encouraging. <laughs> it doesn't feel like I'm leaving in the middle of the night anymore. So something to be thankful for. Can you show them how you can eat? I, I ate you two bites, so my... You ate two bites? Are we having a little bit of a rough time? Head. I got it. Head. Yeah, you're going to get your piece of Halloween candy afterwards. You just got to finish up your rice and stuff. Hey there, just thought I'd check back in. It is currently almost 5.30 on Monday. Nick just took our older two to gymnastics. Only our son is actually in a class and our youngest daughter, but she's had a little bit of a cold and so we don't want to take her and be shunned by everyone <laughs> because of coronavirus. So we're not taking her. She's staying here with me and she is finishing up her dinner. So I'm gonna go hang out with her for a little bit. Okay, I don't know if you can fully appreciate this, but <laughs> it's just so pretty out here right now. There's like a beautiful sunset. It was even prettier a little bit ago. I took a picture with my phone, but you know, people knock Ohio, say it's boring, but I have to say, there are beautiful sunsets here. And like I said, this is not capturing it. <laughs> oh, oh, you got me. Oh, I'm tired now. We're very entertained around here. Never a dull moment. Even when you want one. <laughs> nothing, nothing always like me. You, you. Oh. And, and you then. It's my turn? Yep. I once was lost. Peace. But I now. Oh no, there's a ghost in our house. Oh, scary. Wait, where'd Braille go? Oh no, there's a ghost chasing me! Oh, so scary. <laughs> Braille's trying to walk in my shoes. It's not going very well. Walk a mile in my shoes and you will definitely trip. If that isn't the truth. <laughs> Hi there, it's now Tuesday. I realized I hadn't checked in at all this morning, so I'm recording this on my phone, but um, I just finished up my first school. This morning was not great because it was not early to school. I was almost late, <laughs> and like I said, I'm just really tired, so I really need to be getting up earlier because I didn't get up earlier yesterday, but I just got ready faster. That's the thing. I feel like it, it just, some days it just takes me forever, and I laid out my clothes last night and everything, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my next school, hope the day gets better. And today I actually have a really exciting business meeting. I feel so official. Um, so if you haven't heard yet, my husband and I are starting an event venue and we found like the perfect location. The guy is giving us an awesome deal and we're meeting today to talk about logistics of it. Um, we are renting the space, not um, owning the space because it's like a new business. We just don't feel confident and this guy is giving us an amazing deal like this space needs a lot of work but it is so pretty and it has an amazing view I can't wait to show you guys eventually but um, we're meeting with them today to talk about just like the deal we're making and the deal we're making I don't know 
we're just meeting today to talk about the details and all of that. So I'm really excited to hear more about that. So I'll have to catch you up on how that goes later. But until then, gotta get to work. Hey there, it is now pretty late. It's like almost five. So he's being a little crazy right now. Um, I actually, we actually had our meeting canceled today, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I guess the, the architect that we're working with, that the landlord is working with, uh, does not have like significant progress enough to really meet, which I do appreciate them canceling it if we didn't have time. But that did kind of throw some things off. Thankfully, one of our friends was still willing to watch Brielle and Nick and I got to have a little short little coffee date before we pick the kids up from school because they get out much later than I do. So overall, it was good. But I am making dinner right now. I'm making normal spaghetti for the kids and then zucchini noodles for us. Honestly, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed with just the management aspect of having three kids. I say just that, but really it's like all the things about the whole adoption process and the transition. But the management section is what's kind of getting to me right now, like managing homework, managing activities, managing appointments. Like it just feels like a lot and every single day we have something and it's just, and it's not like they're all big things. It's just a lot to remember and to keep track of. And I've just been feeling a little overwhelmed. So if you have any good advice for like, if you're a parent of multiple kids, like any advice you have of how you manage everything, because I don't know, I feel like I have a low threshold for that and I'm just feeling really stressed by it. So yeah. Anyway, I'm cooking now. So you can see I've got the kids noodles already going. I've got some sauce here. I've been getting, it's nothing fancy, this roasted garlic parmesan sauce that I really like. And then I'm getting ready. I'm a little bit delayed on this. I've got all the zucchini and zucchini has been terrible recently around here. And I'm guessing it's because it's just out of season, um, but it's just been really, really bad. So sorry, I'm looking outside at my kids while I talk. So anyway, I'm gonna get started on this stuff and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, I was just checking my channel, looking at some comments and stuff. And first of all, I just wanna thank you so much if you are someone who comments on my videos. <laughs> like, it can start to feel a little crazy when you talk to a camera sometimes. You're kind of like, does anyone care about this? Am I going insane just talking to a camera? But it's been so encouraging to read people's comments and just see like, people going through this adoption process or thinking about it. And I honestly, like I, I don't say this enough, but I honestly love getting comments. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. And that's a big reason why I just like really enjoy doing YouTube. And I don't know, I just feel like it, it can be a really good community and it has been so far for me. But guys, I was just checking this and I just can't believe how much my channel's been growing lately. Like it's still a super tiny channel compared to so many people, but, um, I have 693 subscribers. You probably can't see that at all. Yeah, you definitely can't. But I have like 693 subscribers and just recently, I feel like it was a week ago, I didn't even have like 640. So it's been growing a lot and I've just been really, really thankful for that. Suki's yawning. I'm just really thankful for everybody who's following along and subscribing and just enjoying the channel. I am planning to do some sit down adoption videos soon. I just have had the most crazy month of October, have not had a chance to sit down on a Saturday or Sunday to film that. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it more than you know. Okay, it's now really late. It's 9.30 and uh, today's election day. So Nick and I went to vote. We uh, squeezed it in pretty last minute. <laughs> we were able to go, but we just have not been thinking. I mean, that might sound bad because I know a lot of people are, all they're thinking about is the election. And obviously like, I care about things that are happening in the country, but there's also a lot going on in my personal life right now that I'm very overwhelmed by. So, but we did vote and I've gotten a little bit of cleaning done, but honestly not much. My, my heart's not in it. I want the results of a clean house, but I don't want to put in the work it takes. But I think part of it is because I just feel like all I do is clean and then it's messy again. And I know that that's just life, but it's tough, you know? Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm standing in the exact same spot I was in last night when I kind of abruptly stopped this video. Um, it is now Wednesday and I am very tired. Um, stayed up way too late last night. It was fun though. 
Nick and I just haven't really been able to spend a lot of time together like this week. So it was just nice to like hang out for a while and everything, but definitely stayed up too late and I was so tired at school today. I was like reading a test out loud to a kid. <laughs> he was like, are you really sleepy today, miss? And I was like, how can you tell? <laughs> Because like I so I teach English as a second language and um, So a lot of kids need like tests read out loud to them or assignments or whatever or books So I spend a lot of my days reading out loud, which is good I love reading and I love reading to kids, but it's weirdly exhausting to read out loud to kids It's like I'm putting myself to sleep with my own voice and story. Maybe I'm putting you to sleep right now with my voice I don't know <laughs> I also totally had a fail and I thought, I thought that I was such a genius and I was literally telling Nick the other day how much of a genius I was that I actually was able to schedule our kids counseling appointments on the same day, like a super mom, you know what I mean? So Nick just went to go take them to their counseling appointments. No, our son's was today and our daughter's is next week on the same day. So apparently I thought I was scheduling them on the same day and I was not. I just like I've been making these little incompetent errors all the time because my brain is like overwhelmed with worrying about my kids and thinking about their schedules and work stuff and everything. I just, this has been a very um, hectic month or so and probably the reason why I haven't really vlogged much but October was just really busy for us. We had our family holiday, Booksgiving, which I didn't vlog, but I should have. Um, we have, which was where we give books to each other. It's really fun. Makes sense with the title. Then we also had our daughter Brielle's birthday and her adoption day and Halloween. It's just a lot of stuff in October. And I just felt like we were busy constantly. So I'm hoping that it's a little bit slowing down because my brain cannot handle it. However, one of the things I have done lately to kind of like simplify my life is I'm trying to, like it's good to have food variety, but I've been really trying lately to um, plan at least one meal a week that's the same every single week and it's an easy meal so that I know I don't have to think about it, I know what we have, and you'll be shocked what it is rice peel off. Someone asked me, they're like, oh, I see you make rice peel off. What's the recipe? This is the recipe. It's a box of rice aroni. It's not great for you, I'm sure, but it's also really good. It's delicious. Those are means the same thing. It's really easy and it's very cheap. So I don't feel that bad about having this once a week. We have zucchini with it and I'm really excited about that. Here's our delicious lemon pepper chicken and our kids are being crazy in the background. And zucchini and Nick. Okay, I was just helping my daughter organize her school folders, which just has no semblance of organization whatsoever, which I hear from my mama is the exact same way at that age, so I can't really judge too harshly. Um, but I'm getting ready to go to my quad, is what we call it. It's basically like a Bible study, like a women's Bible study. And it's just with two other girls. So yeah, we're gonna go to a coffee shop. I've mentioned this place before that has the best milkshakes because our friend has never been there before because she's not from the area. And so we're gonna take her there and see what she thinks. I think they're the best milkshakes of all time. I'll keep you posted. We're walking around Cedarville. Walking. Look My how pretty time. that looks. <laughs> the booming metropolis. This is a metropolis. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite the landing. <laughs> okay, this place is so much more decked out than when we went here. Hey there, I just got back from my Bible study, which ended up not really being much of a Bible study because two of the three of us had not actually read the chapter we were supposed to read. As you can imagine, I was one of the two who had not finished reading, so 
we ended up meeting at a coffee shop and we got milkshakes. Like I said, it was my favorite place to get milkshakes. So that was really nice. And then we went on a little walk around the college that I went to, which is nearby. And it was so great because we didn't think about this, but they have all their Christmas stuff up because after Thanksgiving break, like all the kids aren't coming back until afterwards. So this was super cool. They had like at first, I thought there weren't as many decorations in the main, like, student center as there often are. But then I realized it's because they decorated, like, all over campus. Like, every building had some decorations. It was really cool. And the best part was they had a huge Christmas tree. Like, ginormous Christmas tree in the middle of campus. And it was so pretty. I tried to take some footage of it, so I'll include that in. I'm sure you've already watched the footage from before. But it was so fun. And it was just a really refreshing night. And even though we didn't really do anything quote-unquote productive it was just really great to like hang out and get to know especially one of the girls better her name's Catherine she's actually the one who came to vintage market days with us too so it was really fun we got to do I was like we got to do a lot of fun Christmassy things together this week so really enjoyed it but now I'm gonna work on editing my video that I actually recorded in September and it is now November so I'm gonna go ahead and edit that and try to get that up for this week slash weekend I'm not gonna push myself, so we'll see. But anyway, thanks for following along with my day. Catch up with you tomorrow. Okay, good morning. It is currently, what day is it? Thursday, and I didn't check in this morning. I just finished up my first class at one of my schools, and I'm getting ready to head over to the other one, but sometimes I'll like go through this drive-through really fast at Tim Hortons and get myself like a little hot chocolate or something, and literally there's never anyone here. And today, this line is seriously, like, backed up to the road. I've never seen it like this before. It is so weird. But I think I have, like, plenty of time because I have, like, a half hour to travel. So I'm probably going to get in the line, get myself some hot chocolate, and then head over to my next school. So I'll catch up with you guys later. We do have a social work visit today, social worker visit today. Um, and it's not our kids' regular worker. It's actually her boss who used to be the kids worker so they do know her and everything so curious to see how that goes because it's usually just the worst when workers come I think I mentioned this in like a previous vlog um, just behavior and stuff so I'm gonna try to set the expectation and hopefully it'll be okay how beautiful is the sunset right now it's so nice I'm gonna make this darker so you can see it better look how beautiful that is Anyway, it is currently Thursday evening and our house church starts not not too long from now. We probably have about 30 minutes. So tonight we're going to be grilling hot dogs and brats and some zucchini. And I'm not going to lie, I was feeling very overwhelmed before I came home today about this evening because I'm now, I kind of decided to lead some worship songs tonight because it's supposed to be like a praise and worship night. And it's just not the same when you just sing along to like a recording on YouTube. So I'm actually gonna lead some songs, so I was practicing those, but when I got home from work today, it was so clean in our house, and I'll have to show you later if I can. I just felt this like instant peace, and it just makes me realize how I need to be making, keeping my house clean a priority, which I get that maybe it can't be, but it really does a lot for my mental stability <laughs> when my house is clean. and. Yeah, so I just, I'm so thankful Nick took the time to do that and to do it so thoroughly, like, it was way cleaner than I was expecting it to be, and now we can host tonight, and I don't have to worry about it, and I also just, like, a weight is lifted off my shoulders, so now I need to clean our room this weekend. But anyway, that's my update, and I'll catch you later. Hey there, it's now Friday, and I'm clearly incredible at vlogging this week because <laughs> I have not recorded at all today and it is already like almost eight o'clock. So anyway, um, it was a pretty good day. Tonight, one of my friends is coming over and bringing a significant other along. I won't give away any details, but I'm really excited to meet said person. We're gonna have a little bonfire outside and while the kids are asleep. So that will be really fun. I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, I'll maybe show a little bit of that later. Otherwise, Probably catch you tomorrow. It's Saturday. It is. And I slept in really late and we had fun last night and I did not record anything from our bonfire. So maybe it happened, maybe it didn't. <laughs> 
sorry I had to turn that off really suddenly because our daughter came upstairs and she doesn't really know that I have a YouTube channel and I'd rather her not know. She's a little obsessed with the concept of YouTubers and I don't want to encourage it even though I am on here. Um, anyway, but last night was really good. We were up pretty late. Nick let me sleep in and today uh, my friend is coming over and watching the kids during their little like quiet time slash nap time so we can go on a date. So we're about to get them some lunch ready and then we're gonna go out for lunch ourselves. So I'll try to show a little bit of that. Nick's just cleaning again. Such a good husband. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did mention this but on Thursday he cleaned the whole house uh, like the upstairs and it was so nice when I came home. You're the best. I try. And yeah. Anyway, oh, I don't know if I showed this. We bought this cute little fox decoration. Um, when was that? Like last weekend or something? Mm, yeah. We went to the store called At Home and we bought this little decoration and it, it was just, we knew exactly where we wanted to put it because it's so cute. And then Nick also just bought a little Christmas decoration from Walmart. I think that's really cute. So I love having these shelves where we can just put way too much stuff. Okay, I just got out of the shower, so I'm not gonna show you myself, but I do wanna show you this shampoo and conditioner. So this is the OGX brand, and I really like this brand just in general. But I actually got this last year towards the end of the winter because I get these really bad, like, um, this like itchy scalp and I almost get some like scabbing on my scalp in the winter because I just have dry skin And I heard about this as being good for that and oh my goodness it works so well Now the shampoo you just kind of use normally but this you have to actually leave on for like three to five minutes And it actually makes your scalp like feel cool and tingly and I'm not kidding you I had this like super itchy dry scalp one day and then I used this and the next day it was better like completely better and so this is what I use during the winter, and then I switch back to my normal one in the summer. In the warmer months, I actually use this one. I've, I've tried a couple different ones, but I do really enjoy this one. I will say that this does not make my hair feel quite as soft unless I use a lot of the conditioner. This one I can use like a normal amount of conditioner and it's fine, but this one you do need to use like a little bit more. But it is the extra strength one. I don't know, if you have that type of problem in the winter, I definitely recommend. This is the opera house in the town where we went to college. And I don't know, they must be like really restoring it right now. I think they're fixing the roof. Like, there's two coffee shops here. One is the one with the amazing milkshakes. We're gonna go on a walk now that we just finished our Mexican food and it was delicious as always. And we got to practice our Spanish. Hey there, so it's actually pretty late on Sunday night now, and I realized that I never recorded anything to wrap this up. So anyway, I just want to say that yesterday was super fun. We had a great date. We went to the Mexican restaurant, we went to the college nearby, went on a walk, and then we ended at the most romantic spot imaginable, Dollar General. <laughs> Today was not so great. <laughs> our daughter really freaked out when we went to church, our youngest. The older two were fine, they had a great time. They like love going, which is awesome. But our youngest has just been really struggling. She's three and it's just, it's a normal thing and she's going through a lot. But it was definitely, she did her guttural screams, what I call it, which is very scary. And um, she just gets so upset. Uh, but we were able to calm her down, she went in. But we were just like, just emotionally drained from the morning and getting all the kids ready and dealing with that. So we actually sat in the car for the whole church service and I don't regret it because we were able to talk through some things and like feel better and anyway, I look amazing right now because I just spent the evening doing my daughter's hair, my oldest daughter's hair. So, and we had a really, really rough time with it. I'm very new to doing her hair type. 
Um, she's biracial and has like more natural curly textured hair and it hasn't really been like taken care of super well in the past so she's still learning a lot about taking care of her hair and I'm learning a lot um, but I found this product that detangled her hair so easily and I'm gonna link it below it's the just for me brand and it was seriously a miracle worker it took me last week uh, probably four hours to detangle her hair and I know that part of that is because I'm new to it um, but part of it is because I just didn't have the right stuff and this stuff really worked for me so I'm gonna link it below because I will pay all the money in the world to get that stuff to make it last that short amount of a time so I did her hair and now we are getting ready for bed, doing some laundry, watching a little show. So I'm gonna sign off, but thank you so much for following along this week. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, go ahead and click that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.